everyone! I've been doing a lot more knitting and crocheting projects this year, and I found that yarn management can get pretty intense. I found these little bowls that you can keep your yarn ball in while you're working on a project, and it just makes it really easy to keep your yarn all nice and neat. Of course, I could just go out and buy one of those, like, already made, but I'm me, so I wanted to try making my own. I figured I could find a wooden bowl from the thrift store or something like that, so I wanted to try my hand at making my own first. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did that. So let's get started. You'll need a wooden bowl, a Japanese coping saw, a pencil or marker or whatever, a drill, sandpaper, and wood oil or finish. Draw out the design of the cutout you want. Typically, you don't want a cut to be like straight down or straight diagonal or something. You want it to hook around at least once in order to keep the yarn in place. I'm going with this little swirl. I'm also adding two holes like so, and this is where the knitting needles will go. Drill the two knitting needle holes and the end of the spiral. Now use the coping saw to cut out the design. This Japanese type of coping saw has a blade that can cut in any direction, which is important with this kind of project. And actually, I wish I got this type of coping saw way earlier because I prefer it so much more than the typical coping saw, which can only cut in one direction, so you have to move the project around in order to make the cut, rather than with this thing, you can kind of just start sawing in a bunch of different directions if you needed to. I don't know, I just prefer it this way. When it's all cut out, sand the cutout to make it nice and smooth. You don't want the yarn to get caught when you're working on your project in the future. And finally, apply some wood oil or finish to the freshly cut and sanded areas. I'm using this half and half beeswax slash olive oil mix. Once that's dry, it's all done. To use, toss your yarn ball in, take the working end of the yarn and thread it through the cutout. And then you can start your project. When it's time for a break, just stick your needles through the yarn ball and then out the drilled holes, and then you can come back to it later. Oh, and just a little heads up guys, I want to let you guys know I worked with a friend of mine to design these two fabrics for Christmas. They're New Orleans themed, they're Christmas themed. I'll leave a link down below where you can go order yours if you want some, if you're interested at all. I'm really excited about how they turned out, and I can't wait to make some stuff with them. So yeah, go check it out! I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. Here is today's featured project. If you want a chance to be featured here, then use the hashtag ChesleyDIY on Instagram or Twitter and you may be featured here in one of my future videos. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, the links to those will be down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you like my videos and have learned something from them, please consider supporting me on Patreon to help me continue to make them. It's totally optional, I'll still be making videos either way, it just helps me be able to put out better stuff. A link will be down below, or you can just click up here in the corner.